everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and yes, once again, we are going back to that classic rock band, Led Zeppelin, the band that has not one but two mandolin players, at least they did, especially on this track, which is called The Battle of Evermore. In fact, they had two mandolin songs on the same album, Led Zeppelin 4, if you consider this one, and Going to California. Going to California, I've already done a tutorial for here on this channel. You can check that one out. And that mandolin part was played by John Paul Jones. This song, The Battle of Evermore, was played by Jimmy Page. And it's a really cool mandolin part. And once again, it is one of the most requested mandolin songs on this channel. So I've finally gotten around to playing it for you. And I will show you all of the parts, at least the way that I play these parts. Now, I'm going to preface that by saying there are many different mandolin tutorials for this song on YouTube. I, I could count at least a half a dozen of them all of them different, all playing the parts differently in this song, including Nancy Wilson from Heart, who does a really cool mandolin lesson on the Battle of Evermore, but she plays it quite differently than uh, what I think the song really is. But, you know, there's not really one definitive version of the song anyway. I mean, I've even seen Jimmy Page playing it differently on several videos on YouTube. Um, he plays the introduction certainly differently, and uh, I've seen many variations of that introduction and the rest of the song. So I'm going to give you my interpretation right here on RPM. Okay, but before we get down to the Battle of Evermore, please, if you are new here, just visiting us for the first time, thank you very much for taking the time to check out our channel. And please hit that little subscriber button down there in the lower right corner, that little red tab. It really helps us to continue to grow this channel into the future. If you are a returning subscriber, coming back once again for another tutorial, thanks very much for your continued support. And please check out our Patreon link down below if you'd like to help us out a little bit more financially. Also, I have some Amazon links down there to some products that I endorse and make a slight commission from if you do happen to click on those links and purchase a product. But now, without any further waiting, let's get down to that Led Zeppelin classic from the 1970s, the Battle of Evermore on RPM. Okay, taking a look at the introduction to this song, I play it like this. All right, so what's happening there? Well, first I'm going to point out that there are two different ways to play the introduction. There's this way, which I've seen a lot of people doing on the internet. You can also play it like this. But I prefer to play it the way that I did it before. It's a little bit easier to hit those descending notes when you're when you're doing it like that. And, you know, again, I've seen Jimmy Page play a completely different introduction to this song on YouTube, so there really isn't one definitive way. I think as long as you hit those notes, the A and the C and the E, uh, you're going to be covering this introduction well. So what am I doing? Well, I'm hitting the open A, and then I'm going to the C note, which is the third fret of the A, and then I'm going to that E string open, and I'm hitting two A's, like two A's and then one each of those other notes. So, slowly, like that, okay? And you might even want to keep those two notes ringing out together like a double stop here. So, that's kind of cool. All right, and then while you're doing that, you're also bringing in a little descending pattern on the D string, starting at the second fret here. Second fret, first fret, open, back to first fret again all the while while you're doing I'll do this slowly ready now on that last one when you come back to that first fret there the E flat you're you hit two, all right? All the while you're hitting just one, 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 and then two when you come back. So once again, and 
when you hit that that first fret there, you might want to use your pinky over here, your little finger rather than your third finger there. I, as you can see, I'm shifting. I'm going from there when I'm hitting the E note. And then when I go down to there, I bring in this finger. It's just a little bit easier for me, but you could always play it with that finger as well, right? So that is the introduction to the Battle of Evermore. After the introduction, it goes to this part. Like that. What is that? Well, that's a C chord right here. Second fret of the D string, third fret of the A string, right? And you're just hammering it with these uh, down strokes. And I even sometimes hear him doing, he's kind of pulling off that note there. So you go, right? So this is just a second fret here on the A string. And what this is, is a partial G chord. I'm not hitting this high G up here though. I don't hear that in Jimmy Page's playing on this song. So I'm hearing, right? And then you can pull off perhaps. I do hear that a, a couple of times, so. So that comes after the opening part, after the, after that E flat note, then you go. And that is the whole opening part to this song. After the opening part, then you get into the main motif, the main verse riffs. And it's built around a really cool chord. It's built around an A6 chord. All right, so what's an A6 chord? Well, you've got your A, you probably know the A chord, right? Which is just here at the second fret on the G string, second fret of the D string and open A note there. But the key, the secret weapon to this chord is this note here, which is the second fret of the E string. It's an F sharp note. It's the sixth note in an A scale, making this chord an A6 chord, like that. And Jimmy Page actually, plays it with his, his thumb like that, his thumb bent over and covering these two notes. I can't do that. I don't have, my thumb's not big enough, I guess, or something, but it just won't, I can't finger that chord the same way that he does. So I do it, I prefer to do it like this, but it still works. Okay, from there you got the main riff in the song, which goes like this. Okay, so what is that? Well, it's that A6 chord that I mentioned, right? And what you're doing is you're going first to a G chord and then you're going to a C chord voicing here. And I'll show you that in a minute. So. So from there, you're going A6 to G like that, right? So A6 to G, and then A6 to a C chord. But what I do, and what I've seen Jimmy Page doing on the internet, is he's just playing this note on the C chord with his finger here, third fret of the A string. He's not playing the full C chord. Other people on YouTube play the entire C chord there. So again, it's up to you to play whatever you want. So again, it goes like this, really slowly, right to the G, and then So that second one is you're going, you're hitting the E note open and this C note here. So it's like, and I even pull in the open again. So, like that. Okay, after he does that little uh, lick with the A6 chord, he goes to a. Okay, so that is a variation of a D chord, even though there are three A notes in this chord. It's built over that D, that open D. And what you do is you put your finger here on the A note down there at the second fret of the G string, and your pinky up here for this A note, fifth fret of the E string. So it's A there, and then these two are open, D and A again, 
and then high A. So it's really nice open chord like that. So you're you're hitting two notes on that bottom note there, and then that little run there. In fact, there are various runs that he does over this chord pattern during the song. I'll show you a few of them here. Um, all you can do is listen to the song and figure out what he's doing um, on those other runs. But here's the first one. It goes... Right? So it's just from the 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, and then back up again. So... And I'm hitting all of these with down strokes. Right? And then here. Right? Down strokes as well. The next time he does it like this. Alright, so he he goes. So fifth, third, second open, then he jumps down to the A string. Three, two, one. So like that. And then back to And back to that part again. There's another little run that he does later in the song over that chord pattern. And so... Something like that, right? Which is really cool. It's... He does that riff, which I just showed you, but then he goes... Like that. So... Again, fifth, third, second, open. But this time... And then a little riff here. So just three, two, open again. So that he does over that near the end of the song. Okay, and there's another part in the song that I guess you could call a bridge pattern. It's played a couple of times. Um, it's really cool and involves kind of a different rhythmic strumming. It's So what are those chords? Well, the first one is an A minor 7 chord, but I'm only playing it as a double stop here. You could play this note as well to give you that A minor 7 voicing, but I'm just playing the A note here, which is the 2nd fret of the G string, and then here, the 5th fret of the D. So that is an A7 or A minor 7. It's actually just an A7 voicing there. And you're hitting it with down strokes. One, two, three, four, two, two. Just like that, just pounding down strokes on it. Then you just slide this note down one fret to there, and you put your pinky up there, which becomes a D chord, all right? So A, A7 to D, A7 to D, and then an F to C, right? What's that F chord? Well, it's right there, second fret of the uh, G string again, and third fret here of the D string, so... And then just move that same pattern up to there for your C chord. Second here, third here. So once again... Right, and then back into that part again. Finally, near the end of the song, after he, uh, after Jimmy Page repeats that opening motif, he goes into a little E minor pattern, and he employs a little... a little descending line like that over the E minor. So he's hitting that E minor chord here, which is 2nd fret of the D string and 2nd fret of the A. And I'm barring it there so you can do a... You can do a pattern like that, and he does... He does a variation of that little walk down there. So it's E minor, and then your pinky here on the 5th fret of the A string, so... Right, and then still hitting all of those strings. And then to the 3rd fret, the 2nd fret of the A string. And then finally, the 5th fret of the D. There, so... He does that little pattern just near the end of the song. All right, that is The Battle of Evermore by Led Zeppelin, at least my version of it, the way that I play it. Once again, it's played differently by so many people on the internet that really there's no one definitive way to play the song. 
have fun with it, enjoy it, and maybe incorporate some of the other uh, licks and patterns for the song that you see uh, in other lessons or even by watching Jimmy Page on YouTube. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks once again for tuning into RPM. We really appreciate your support. Hit that subscriber button on the way out if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much for your support. Maybe you want to check us out on Patreon or check out some of our Amazon links down below. Thanks once again for watching Rock and Pop Mandolin. <laughs>